Considering the enormous wealth of this country and our national obesity crisis, it's strange to think that tens of millions of Americans often go hungry. But it's true, and the fact is the focus of an important new documentary, A Place at the Table. The assistance programs in the United States are very hard to qualify for. It's like either you're starving or you don't get any help. But what defines starving? Like if you don't eat for a day, are you starving? In their eyes, no. But in your eyes and the way you feel, of course. Joining us are the directors of The Place at the Table, Lori Silverbush and Christy Jacobson. Good morning to you both. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Uh, let's start with this whole idea that we have, you know, we have an obesity problem in this country. If, if anything, everybody thinks we're too fat. So how are so many people undernourished? Well, it's surprising, it was surprising to us to learn that obesity can often be a symptom of malnourishment. Mm -hmm. When you don't have enough calories, enough money to purchase healthy food, you're going to get whatever calories you can for your family, and often the cheapest food has the most calories, uh, and it's junk food. It doesn't have any real nutritional content, so you will get those calories and end up undernourished, so but possibly really obese. It's not really feeding you. Yeah, not exactly. really. In your documentary, you follow three different individuals. How did you choose these three? Well, I mean, we were shocked and amazed to find that hunger is found in every corner of the country. So we wanted to, you know, show that. And um, we, we just met these incredible people, working families, uh, Rosie and her family, you know, struggling with four working parents in the house trying to put food on the table. And, and Barbie, just this incredible, resilient young woman. Um, and really, we were just moved by their stories and felt that audiences, too, would be moved by their, by their experiences. In the film, you talk about food deserts. Yeah. And these are places, literally, you can't get the right kinds of things to eat? Yeah, throughout the country, there are neighborhoods and regions where people don't have access to fresh fruits or vegetables. They either have to travel great distances, which can be challenging with gas prices, or uh, getting transportation. Even in urban centers, we found one of our characters had to take two buses and then a long, long walk, a round trip of over two hours, sometimes three if there was traffic, just to get some fresh fruit or vegetables on the table. And that was when she could afford it. So it's a real problem. And typically in this country, we, we shake our fingers and wag our fingers at people and say, you're making bad choices, you're eating the wrong foods. But is it really a choice when you can't even get to the right food? Right. Mm -hmm. the, you talk about the 1968, it was a CBS yeah. special report on hunger in America, which virtually eradicated at the time hunger in America. And yet today, many years later in 2013, there's 50 million people who are going hungry in this country. There's some footage Absolutely. of it right there. Look at that. Yeah, and that 1960 doc 1968 documentary inspired us because when Americans saw that, they were outraged and they immediately picked up the phones and started calling their politicians. They didn't think, oh, well, I need to have a, a food drive. They thought, our government can fix this. And in fact, the government did fix it. And so that what, was what inspired us. So what should we be doing now? Well, frankly, I'm glad you asked because there is a role for our government to play when there's an issue this big. We're very conditioned to think that charity can solve this. And charity is a hugely helpful thing for people who need it. But some problems are just too big for communities and individuals to fix. If you care about the fact that American children don't get enough to eat, you can pick up the phone, call your elected officials, you can go on our website, just Google us, the movie, you'll find it, and you can click through, you can email, text, you can call, let your representatives know it's unacceptable in the United States of America. We're a first and world nation. Lori, we shouldn't have this problem. Lori and Silver. also see the film and, and talk about it. I yeah. think that's a big part of part of the starting the conversation. Lori and Silver Bush and Christy Jacobson. Thank you both thank for being you. here this thank morning. You. Thank you. Thanks so much.